In this short video we are going to demonstrate how to examine yourself to look for enlarged lymph nodes in the neck region. Skin cancers can often spread to the lymph nodes and it is important they are checked regularly in order to detect any problems early. The locations of the lymph nodes in the neck have been drawn on this subject. This is a relatively large and complicated area. They can be found in the following places. In front of the ear, at the angle of the jaw, underneath the jawline and under the chin, beneath the long muscle of the neck, at the root of the neck above and behind the collarbone, at the back of the neck, at the back of the scalp and behind the ear. This subject is demonstrating how to examine the lymph nodes of the neck. She starts from in front of her ear to the angle of the jaw. She makes gentle but firm circular motions. At the angle of the jaw, she gently pinches a tissue between her index finger and thumb underneath the skin. She then returns to using two fingers of the opposite hand and examines the nodes under the jawline and under the chin. In order to feel the lymph nodes underneath the long muscle of the neck, it is necessary to make this area go loose. The best way to do this is to turn the head to the opposite side and then bring the ears as close to the shoulder as possible. She then continues to feel underneath this muscle and down the neck until she reaches the collarbone. Her attention then turns to the area behind the collarbone and she works her way back up the neck behind the long muscle. She then straightens her head and feels at the back of her scalp, making her way forwards to finish behind the ear. While she is doing this, she is feeling for firm lumps in the area. A suspicious lump has the following features. Hard or firm, usually painless, different from the other side, wasn't there the last time you checked, keeps growing. If you detect a lump, then here are some do's and don'ts. Don't panic, don't ignore it, and don't wait until your next clinic appointment comes around. Do call us and do contact your doctor or cancer nurse specialist to arrange a prompt appointment for this to be reviewed.